Ah, yes, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Rebrush it, Give him praise and the glory. Thank you, Thank you, Father. Let's thank you. Give you praise. You are mighty. You are king. You are our God. We honor you tonight. We celebrate your majesty. Thank you for this platform for a plethora of miracles, signs and wonders. Thank you for the ministry of your word and your spirit. Thank you for light and revelation. Thank you for insight into divine realities. Glory to God. Bless his name, bless his name. Glory to God, glory to God. Balaka Badaba. Lead through the seed. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. 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 Oh, bless him, bless him. Bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name, bless his name. Bless his name, bless his name. Bless his name, bless his name. Yes, yes, I see you, I see you. I see you, bless him, bless him. God bless you, God bless you. Ah, uh, please uh, participate. Let, let me know that you are online as we begin this cruise. Uh, it's a very brief one tonight. Let me know that you're online as you're praying with expectation so that we can explore the word together. Blessing. Baranda Bahaskin. Luma Nama Nama Sise Venemero Sisi Bida Badan Grotos Lembroto Predita Carabe da Boro no Mo Sisi Shenamanda Baram Brita Lacobe Sisa Brada Bada 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 Bonti La Bacaba da Baradi Bande de Vedekida Haskin. We are celebrating the victory of Jesus. We are celebrating that which he did on the cross. We are celebrating that which he did by his resurrection. We are celebrating the redemptive work of Jesus. We are, we are celebrating him. He's, he, this is about him. It's about him. So we are gathered unto him. We are gathered in his name. We are gathered because we are named by him. We are numbered by him. We have been called. We have been ordained. We have been called for such a time as this. There is, there is, there is a working of God among us as His people, as a family of faith. It is His kingdom. It is His power, and it is His glory. It is His kingdom. Give Him praise wherever you are. Kadabanamo sizabeda. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Glory to Jesus. Ah, la bada barabe namo shizade. Katome namo rande brata kaskiba. It's his kingdom, it's his power, it's his glory. It's his kingdom, it's his power, it's his glory. Ah, rada bada bala kabadaba. Nothing just happens, nothing just happens. Nothing just happens. There are things you do on earth and they signal in heaven. There are things you do on earth and there is a response from heaven. There are things you do on earth because it was done in heaven. There are things you do on earth because you know it is done in heaven. You do it here because you saw it there. And so we are engaging tonight because we, we have seen what has been done. <laughs> Give him praise. Give him praise. Had a we are gathered unto Jesus. We are gathered unto Jesus. As a people, we are gathered unto Jesus. We serve a living God. 
He's alive. He's alive in us. We serve a living God. He's alive. He's with us. He's with us. He orchestrated this. This is not an idea of a ministry. It's not an idea of a man. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Ghost. It's the day of the Holy Ghost. It's the day of the Holy Ghost. Pabrata kobabalame Suzabaranta kabarata balanos Perete la porande krauta paris Meste le veno telebi kabo Yadaba la porame Autelevi kaba da barante ke kridis Ah, we have been called to come and fish. The, the table is set. We have been called to come and fish. Jesus Kabrata parante ke bredi Wherever you are listening from tonight, just pray in the spirit. If you cannot pray in the spirit, pray with your understanding. Thank him. Thank him for redemption by the blood. Thank him for eternal life that resides on your inside. Thank him for the Holy Ghost that is sent to you. Thank him for the gift of righteousness. Thank him for the spirit of adoption. Where we will cry about Father. Thank him. You are gathered to your Father tonight. Is your father. It's not an idol somewhere. Is your father. Is your father. Give him thanks. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Rabanda Skaba. Come lobe reketele baboranta. Pau de levinas apale cope rubida bahase. Give him praise, Jesus. I already see a testimony here. Give him praise. 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 Alaborame na mashala mana mana ke mana na mos. Yeah. Lekrata badashi. Pelambarata badakabos. The substance of creation is the word. Is the word. Is the word of God. Jesus is the word of God. We have come to fellowship with the word of God. <laughs> the word of God. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. You have orchestrated this for such a time as this. Because of that which you, you intend to perform through us and in us. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise. Bala barata bala kabada baranda kabrosi zabrata bakra batale russo sovele bepaita barando le koski kapalia parakti kambro to novembe ebro da kabaranta kapradi kabozo zi levene me shida barata la palo sogada brante kabro da bara prati zaza barata la papa papa rakata do kabondos lebrane si zava nahash rahava sata la vada pare. Prote ke prendi ta za preska para tele pia baba bala kozi rete te te pe pe rete prakata get rid of the distractions where you are you are in a place and there is distractions get rid of the distraction just pray the spirit 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 para ta ka pradas you are making progress already you are making progress already pray the spirit Pray in the spirit. Kabaranda baba bada. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. Palo bos. Ika baba baba. Ika borobo telekebas. Please pray in the spirit. Man broto kobod. Be intentional about it. Be intentional about it. Palaboranta cabrata baba 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 Emano shata Emano shata Emano shata Emano shata Emano shagavakti Cabaranda barakti Kebrosi zabrate Lambro ta paraska 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 Parate kebo Kebo rate sape Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give him thanks. Celebrate his majesty. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Give him praise for your life. Thank him for the gift of salvation. 
Ah, you are saved. Thank Him for the gift of salvation. Thank Him for you have become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Thank you because God was vindicated because of that which Jesus came to do. There is something about redemption. There is, there is something about redemption. That you have bought with a price. You have bought with a price. He bought you. He owns you. Not your circumstances. He owns you. Not the situations. He owns you. Not the sickness. Not the infirmity. He owns you. Not the lack of money. He owns you. Not the economy. Not the government. There is a government that will subscribe to. Give him praise. Thank him for his unfading government. Thank him for his unchanging government. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wow. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Glory to God in the high. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, please, everybody. It's with joy that I welcome you to 40 days of His kingdom, of His power, and of His glory. If you are listening with your friends and family, let them know that this is not one of those things that you just listen to passively. You have to act, you have to attend actively. Try to participate. I rejoice at what the Lord is doing. I'm seeing so many of us online. It's, it's beautiful. I want you to know that it's not my plan. I didn't plan 40 days of glory. I didn't plan. My body will even allow me this. But the Lord has orchestrated me because of that which he intends to do. Alright, that which he intends to allow to find expression. So what we are doing is, you know, allowing, allowing ourselves align with what he's doing. And then by our alignment, we will see the wonders. The wonders of the new creation, the wonders of Jesus, the wonders of the kingdom. But uh, I'd like to share with you a few things from scripture, maybe one or two lessons from scripture, and then we will pray. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. Let me show you something from scripture. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. We'll be praying all through. You're listening to me. You are praying. You are, we are praying all through. Genesis chapter 1. I'll read from verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I'll read it again. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So it's essential for you to understand that actually according to scripture God was before what we call the beginning began because our definition of the beginning is not actually God's definition of the beginning God was before the beginning began so in the beginning what we see is that there is a being there is a personality there is one sovereign monarch who was already in existence before existence came to find expression what i mean is very simple god was before time began and because god was before time began that means that it is actually god that decides whatever will happen in time it's unfortunate that um Modern day psychology has taught that uh, you, you can you can get anything done. Please, I want you to know if you are following me because this thing is buffering somehow here. Um, the modern day psychology has told us that you, you you can get anything done if you can just see it. But you see here, the Bible says, "In the beginning, God." That means. That number one, God does not exist for you and me. Yeah, see, kingdom brethren, we need to come to certain understandings in this season. 
that 40 days of glory is not actually to actually uh, profit you, sort of. It's actually to profit God. The reason why we pray is not really to use God. You can, in fact, you can't use God. You know, sometimes we say you are trying to use God. You can't actually use God. Why? Because God is not an idol. God is not a journey. You, there, there is a level of relationship and loyalty that it takes for you and God to begin to, you know, interact on certain levels. But unfortunately, people want to use God to, to get their needs met so that they can run away and then live like they want to. But as kingdom brethren, in the beginning, God. That means God does not exist for you and me. God is not living to please you. God is not living to serve me. God is not living to serve my purposes and my desires and my inclinations. No matter how right your desire is as a man, As long as you have not come into perspective, come to understand that which Jesus actually came so that you can become, what you are going to do with your life is that you are going to be building many things, but it is not going to be according to pattern. And because it is not according to pattern, whatever you build is definitely going to come to naught because it was of the earth and because it was of the earth it cannot affect the will of God so God does not exist for you and me so that when we begin to pray our perspective in prayer is not that we are trying to use God to oh that my miracle this thing will come now I agree you know that we would see miracles I already received a testimony here and I'm going to share it with you to ginger your faith but listen The direction of faith is not for things. The direction of faith is to please the Lord. That means that if it will take a miracle for God to be pleased, then we receive it. If it will take if it will take uh, parting the Red Sea for Pharaoh to be convinced that there is God, then the Red Sea will be parted. If it will also take that we lose our lives as Matthias for his sake, then we will do it. If that is what it will take, are you together with me tonight it's very essential for us to understand that god does not exist for you and me this is the foundation for accurate praying there is so much praying going on among god's people but we are generating little results not because we are not praying but because the standpoint the paradigm the perspective the belief the ideology the conviction that drives our prayers is not really in total alignment with what god wants so most times we are praying for a job, all right. We are praying for a car, we are praying for family, we are praying for marriage. They are beautiful, but we need to come to that point where we agree first that God does not exist for you and me. Oh, but if God does not exist for me, why did Jesus die? Jesus died because He has to restore you and I back to the original agenda for which you were created. God is the creator. Man is the creator. The creator cannot decide for the creator what the creator should do with him. So we are not trying to use God in these 40 days of glory because I have to lay the foundations right. We are not trying to use God to get things. No. We will align with him. And if he... Listen, there's going to be a lot of miracles. There are a lot of signs and wonders. You will see all of them happen. Why? Because God has said it. God has told us. I believe it. But not without the perspective that God wants us to have. So God wants you and me to yield to his governing influence. So Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 tells us the history of creation. That in the beginning, God. So nothing can begin without God. That means anything that actually starts on earth and it is without God. That means God was not the foundation of it. What we are actually doing is that we are, we are working in reverse order. We are doing stuff. But it's not in God's radar. Why? Because things don't begin on earth. It begins in heaven. That's why Jesus said, pray, saying, Our Father, what? In heaven. And then he said, Thy will be done in earth as it is. That means the will of God. God is not struggling for his will to be done in heaven. God is not trying to get his will to be done in heaven. The challenge God has is not really with earth. The challenge God has is with the saints on earth. 
It's not the devil. God does not have any talent with the devil. So everybody already knows where they are. It's only the saints that God is having issue. God is not having issue with the unbeliever. God is not. What God is doing for the it is not behavior. Behavior modification is not God's address to the unbeliever. He's let first receive life because before God, the unbeliever is actually not really alive. Is existing but is not alive. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. And you are still quickened. That means we were dead in trespasses. But when we received the life of God, He quickened you. And one of the proofs of that quickening is that your soul does not rest until you do the will of God. Then He said, In the beginning, He created. So when we say your words can create, you have to understand that it's not just, uh, just not just your words per se, it is the word. That our lives are founded upon the foundation that we live to please the Lord. And so when I'm praying, my, the goal of my prayer is that I want to please the Lord. When I'm fasting and I'm waiting on God for the miraculous, all of it is because I want to please the Lord. And if it will please the Lord to have me get some things done with my life currently, then they will be done. Why? Because it is His will. So this is very, very essential. One more scripture to lay uh, this foundation again and then we would pray. Let's check Matthew. Let's see Matthew. Matthew chapter Matthew chapter 4. You know, it's a word and prayer. So as you are listening, you just you just be following me. Don't worry. When we set, you see, when the mindset is properly, when the mind is properly set, uh, things become very easy. If I want to hold a, a healing meeting, I, I will teach for 15 minutes and minister for and minister again for 10 minutes. Why? Because what the people really need is a heart shift. When the heart has shifted, the, the actions, I mean, it, it will be very easy. It will be very easy. So that we don't begin to labor and just pray and then, oh God, oh God, do this, break this, and then we don't see any results. I don't like doing things that won't bring results. There's no time to waste in this season. Let us check something from scriptures. Matthew chapter number 4. Ah! God is going to help somebody tonight. Matthew chapter 4. Look at Matthew chapter 4 verse 1. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Just in case you are following tonight and um, you are noticing that there are a lot of um, temptations around your life. There is a lot of battles here and there and you are wondering whether it is still the Lord that is leading you. The Bible never told you that. There, there are people who say the, the, the safest place to be is in the center of the will of God. I agree, but not totally. Because when you are in the center of the will of God, you are actually facing the demonic realm head on. <laughs> to say, those who are hiding in the will of God, then you are safe. <laughs> You can be in the will of God and die. And guess what? Even your death brings honor to the kingdom that you died. Okay. So, it's, it's important. The safest place to be is to be in God. You can be in the will of God and you still don't see some levels of safety. If your definition of safety is you will not die physically. Or your bodily, you know, all kinds of things that we like. That's not... That's not you can be in the will of God and you are crying every day and it's still the will of God. The will of God does not have to do with your emotion. He has to do with what he wants. So our success as God's people, our, our victory as the saints of God is actually being in the center of the will of God. That, that's where we find our joy. That's where we find our, our fulfillment. That I'm in the center of the will of God. Whether it happens the way I want or not, as long as I'm in the center of the will of God, I have peace. He says, Jesus, our Jesus, was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. I, I, I thought the Holy Ghost only leads men into green pastures. Brothers and sisters, I'm encouraging you tonight. The Holy Ghost does not lead men only to the green pastures. He also leads men into the wilderness. The Holy Ghost will lead you into the wilderness to be tempted. Ah, But God does not tempt men. Uh, it depends on what you mean by that. There are certain points in your life when, when you begin to work with God, there are certain tests that will come. God is not testing you to destroy you. He's testing you. He's proving your love for him. 
that in these 40 days of glory, God will begin to give you instructions. And they begin to tell you to do certain things. And they look weird. They look crazy. They look and they, they, they will jolt you. They will challenge your beliefs. And God tells you, this is what I want you to do. Will you do it? Or you just want to use God as an idol. You don't want to use God as an idol because he is not. We, we can't, you see, you, you, cannot, you cannot continue to live for what Jesus died to deliver you from. We are not worshiping an idol. We are, we are, we are, <laughs> we are connected to the Creator. He says we are the seed of Abraham, and as according to the promise, he said we are the seed of Abraham. That means actually, when we're talking about the forty days of glory, we just want to showcase the majesty of heaven. We are not trying to grab it, and we are not trying. We are not trying. We are not trying. Is that when he returns? Is that we are not begging for miracles? We walk miracles. I'm not begging, oh God, if you just please and try, if you can just, God, if you can try. God is not going to give you anything again. He has given you eternal life. He has given you the Holy Ghost. He has given you the Word. He has given you principles in that. He has given you all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Not only godliness, life and godliness. So, Jesus was led up by the Spirit to be tempted of the devil. That because you even claim allegiance to God as a kingdom person, that, that does not exempt you from, from, from adversity. The Bible says, once you are in the will of God, everything will be easy. I, I believe, oh, but it's not totally like that. Paul was in the will of, the, of God and he, the, he, all the apostles, they were, they were made and they were in the will of God. Women received their death back to life, but that was an aspect. There were others who were scorched and who were burned alive. All of it was still the will of God. That means the will of God has many shapes and many forms. You don't use another man's life to judge whether you are in the will of God or not. You don't use another man's life to judge whether you are in the will of God or not. I want to encourage somebody listening tonight. You are, you are in the will of God, but the devil is lying to you that because your circumstances does not look like the promises that God gave to you and you want to quit, God said, don't quit. That it does not look like the will of God does not mean it is the will of God. Men may say what they like to say. It does not matter what men say. What matters now is what has the Lord said. What did God tell you? Did you, what, what did God tell you? Are you doing what he told you? Jesus was led. I love that word. What God is raising in the last days are Christians that are led. That are led not by their emotions. That are led not by their money. You see, do you know, you can have some amount of money with you, you know, some levels of financial rest, and you can be led by money. Do you know in the kingdom of God, there are many things we can do, but there are many things we won't do. Why? Because we are not pastors, we are sons. You can, you can have money to get a thing done. But because the father is not telling you to do it, you, you suffer it to be so for now. You let it be. <laughs> that I can do things. I can do stuff. I have to run. I have the Holy Ghost. I have the anointing. But again, there are constraints upon you. Why? Because the love of God. There is, there is a kind of love that drives us. He moves us and then he constrains us. That we do certain things because of our love for God. And then again, we do not do certain things because of our love for God. All of it is still part of the miraculous. You cannot see the miraculous if the will of God is not the reason for which you live. If you see, listen, if you see the miraculous and you are not in the will of God, it was only an act of mercy that does not happen every day. And it is to call you to repentance and to help your heart to quickly come back and adjust. And if you don't adjust, what will happen to you is that you will want to replicate that miracle again and again, but you will find out that it was a fluke. And because you don't have the requisite capacity in your spirit to contain that which the Lord would have given you as an inheritance, you will live all your life to get what God already gave you. Jesus was led up of the spirit. In Matthew chapter 1 verse 21, he says, you shall bring forth a son. You shall, he didn't say a child. He said, you shall call his name Emmanuel, for he will save his people from their sins. When Jesus came, he says, for this purpose, the son of God was manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. In Luke chapter 4, he says, Lord, I come in the volume of books. It is written of me. There is something that is written of you. you see, so when you are walking, when you are talking about his kingdom, his power, and his glory, you are talking about living in what is written of you. 
not what people are saying that you no no it's written of you that there is a there is something that has been written have you found what is written have you have you read the bible said jesus opened it have, have you read the scroll of your destiny can you see what god is saying can you hear what is show? can you perceive it can you receive it so that we don't become beggarly all our lives uh, queuing for miracle when we ought to be miracle workers ah that your siblings are sick and you still have to some people think that well i don't, I don't know well I'm, I'm not like everybody's different but you know some some preachers are are happy when people call them that they have a problem they are happy that yes i'm my church members all of them are always disturbing me because i'm the man of god some of those things are actually signs of insecurity you shouldn't be happy that everybody is calling you to ask you for help you should get to that point where you help those that are helpless and you train them to become helpers David was in the cave of Adulam, and the Bible says discontent men, men that were in debt, men that were poor, they were broke, they were tattered, they were under the whiplash of mediocrity. But David actually gave them certain information that made them mighty men. What It was not the food that they were eating that made them mighty men. It was the word that was communicated to their spirits, and they believed, they, they lambano, they, they held on to it, and they became it. Like I said this morning in the conference, you don't do to become, you become to do. God first makes you what you are before he tells you, go and show the world what you already are. So you are not trying, you are not trying to get things. Listen, brothers and sisters, you are not trying to get miracles. You carry miracles on your inside. Are you sick in your body? Ah, oh God, when? There is nothing like God, when? Listen, the Bible says, Weeping may endure for a night, joy cometh in the morning. The morning is not really tomorrow morning. The day you discover revelation of certain realities in Christ, that day is when your morning comes. The light enters into your spirit, and then because of what you know, some things just need to adjust you have not even prayed yet you just came into the understanding the the phronesis the the working knowledge of it came it it turned upon your spirit and said no these things can't continue anymore so the things the things that you see that have been perpetuated by your circumstances all of them are a lie don't believe it they are a lie. You can be in the will of God and not have money. You can be in the will of the Lord and be suffering. You can be in the will of the Lord and you are rejected. You can be in the will of the Lord and they are envying you. I don't see. It's not, it doesn't matter. Led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted. I perceive the Lord is speaking to someone. You, you, you are being tempted. <laughs> you are being tempted. You are being tried. It's hard. But you, but you perceive deep down that I'm pregnant with the will of God. It's not me that sent myself to do this thing now. Then you check again. God is in my motive, and God is telling you it's not your motives. It's not, it, this is how it happens for everybody who will be visionary. Nobody, all those that went ahead of you went through it. It's not, it's not new. Your own case is not peculiar. Your own case, your case is not actually different. It's like if you are in the kingdom, eh, your case is not different. Everybody's case is like that's that. If you are a son, your case is not different. I understand your case is different for, eh, but as a son and another son, if you are working with Jesus, your case is not different. The Bible says, "Be ye followers of them who through faith and patience obtained faith." Look at it and patience. Some of us have a lot of faith, but how about patience? That God has spoken to you, He has given you His word, but can you endure? Do you have the staying power? And this is why we are holding 40 days of glory. 40 days of glory is not, it's not really you are trying to get glory. No, no, that's not, I, I don't have a problem with all that. 40 days of glory is that uh, you, you are building staying power. Yeah, 40, you know, we say once you make something 40 days, I know that religious idea that once it is 40 days, Moses is 40 days, Jesus, that means every 40, 40 days. There are a lot of 40 days that you had you have had this year and there was nothing. Do you know how many 40 days this year we already had? It's not about uh, whether it's it's not like that. But I'm saying you are building state power. One hour every day, you eat the word and then you pray. Sometimes it may be one prayer point. Sometimes you may, you may not even pray any prayer, but just pray the Holy Ghost and go. 
But guess what? Something was... Listen, every time the saints of God gather to feed at the table of Jesus, to receive the ministry of the word, what happens is that more glory is added to you. So when you are coming out, you are shining. You are not here. You are not shining because of the light of the auditorium. There is something that was imparted. There was a word that was spoken unto you. You held on to that word and then you wage war with that word. He told Timothy, he said, listen, wage war with the prophecy that was spoken to you. There is a prophecy that has gone ahead of you. Fight with it. This is a night to fight with what God has told you. But because you know that he is your king, you are representing him. Please say it now, I'm an ambassador. Eh, no, you are not a slave. You are not, you are not begging God for miracles. You are not begging God for miracles. God is not trying to hope that, let me see, maybe if you are good, if you are nice, if you are kind, eh, there are all believers that are receiving miracles. Why? Because miracles itself actually manifest when there is a mishap in pre- When you ignore principles, that's when you are looking for miracles. Because originally the Christians was actually not designed to be a to be a miracle seeker. You are to be a miracle worker. He said, I am the children that the Lord has given unto me. We are for signs and for wonders. We are not looking for it. He's inside us. This is what I want us to get tonight, my brothers and my sisters. You are not looking for it, it's inside you. Shout it where you are. He's, he's inside you. It's inside. That calling is inside. You are not looking for it. It's inside you. The ministry is inside you. The money you are looking for is actually inside you. It's not in one ATM. You know, you know when you say this, hey, this one. It's not in an ATM. It's inside you. Everything that you will need for life and God, He gave you the day you got born again. He didn't give you the day after or next week. Or when they check your behavior, your morality. You no, know, he gave you already. You must know that he gave. Say with me, he has given me. Yes. I'm not. He has given. See, oh God, oh God. Oh, I, this is why many people don't have a powerful prayer life. I see why many people don't have a powerful prayer life. They don't have a powerful prayer life because they don't know what has been given. They don't know what has been given. It has been given. Say with me, it has been given. Mm. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward he was hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, we'll talk about that tomorrow. When the tempter came to him, he said, all right. When the tempter came to him, I'm, I'm in Matthew chapter 4, verse 2, please. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, if you are. That's a wrong question. How can you say if you are? Look at the word. If and then are. He didn't say if me is a probabilistic statement. That's you want to try to prove it. And then he said, you are. He said, if you are. He is wrong. If you are the son of God, who gave Satan the information before that Jesus, did, before that time, Jesus didn't say he was the son of God. So, so how did, who gave Satan the information that to now come and ask you that if you are. Satan was looking for the seed of the woman that would bruise the head of the serpent. So he said, maybe in this way, if you are the son of God, command Oh, Jesus, I will stop here and then we'll begin to pray. If you are the son of God, command these stones to become bread. Brothers and sisters, there is a tendency for us as believers in Christ Jesus to want to turn stone to bread. Mm. But you see, uh, stone is not bread and bread is not stone. Even if a stone is soft, stone should not be soft. But in cases, a stone was put in your dessert and then they even garnished it. A garnished stone is still a stone. (laughs) <laughs> a, a decorated stone is still a stone a celebrated stone an acknowledged stone is still a stone a stone cannot be more than what it is it is a stone he says you are the son of God command the stone to become bread it's an error because in the organogram of creation everything should be produced after its own kind why should a stone become bread what he's actually saying is that uh, use your stone Supernatural power to meet your own temporal needs. 
He said, command the stones to be bread. Guess what? Jesus can actually command stones to be bread. But the reason why Jesus will not do that is because Jesus came to live for the will of God. He was not using supernatural for himself. He was, he was going to do supernatural stuff, but it will be in pleasing the Lord. The Bible says in the book of John, he said, This beginning of miracles, this Jesus in Cana of Galilee, and then he manifested his glory, and his disciples believed on him. He manifested his glory. You know what that means? He was first a man who chose to submit to the king, to submit to his father. Philippians chapter 2. Let this mind, this perspective, this is how to pray accurately. He said, Let it be in you. Don't just read about it, don't just confess it. Let it be your mentality. He says, though he was God, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God. And then he now began to say that he humbled himself even to the obedience of the cross, the death of the cross. He said, he now says that wherefore God also has highly exalted him and has given him a name, which is above every name that at the name of Jesus, every knee, he's not saying J-E-S-U-S, there is an authority. There is an authority that backs that name because there was a dealing that brought it. The name, the name was not a gift, it was a word. He said he gave him a name that is above all names. That at the name of Jesus, every me. Ah! So there are many people who want to use the name of Jesus, but they want to use the name of Jesus like a good long term. It can work. And the name of Jesus is not really J-E-S-U-S. No, 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 it's an authority. He says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. How can the name be a tower? He said the righteous run it into it. And he said, guess what? You are not looking for the address of the name. You are living in the name. That's why he said he that dwelleth in the secret place. You are a dweller. You are there. You are not, you are not visiting there. God is not visiting it. God is not trying to visit. God is not trying to. When he says, What is man that you that you are mindful of? You are the son of man that you visit it. That was in the old in the New Testament. God is not visiting man. God is in man. He's in you, the new creation, not trying to visit you, he's inside you. So most times when we even talk about encounters, you are talking about what you are talking about most times is that your, your soul came to a level of alignment where you could pick what God was already doing. Yes, sir. Yes. There are many things that God is doing that you are not seeing. That you are not seeing it does not mean God is not doing it. That you are not seeing it in your life does not mean God is not working. Don't turn stone to bread. Are you tempted to give up, to be discouraged, to turn away and compromise what the Lord has told you? No way. Don't allow it. Don't turn stone to bread. Verse 4, and then we begin to pray. But he answered, I love Jesus. He answered and said, it is written. Oh, it is written. You must understand what is written. Don't just cram it. You must understand it. He said, it is written. Man, Adam, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. Not some of the world. You, you are not a selective. Listen, if you want to see his kingdom, his power, and his glory, you must understand that number one, it's not about you, it's about him. Number two, you cannot be a selective here. You don't like only this one and leave this one. In the king, you take, you bought the Old Testament and the New Testament, you eat it. There are those who say, I don't read the Old Testament again, there's nothing there. It's not accurate. You cannot appreciate the New Testament if you don't understand no. the troubles of the Old Testament. I love Jesus. I love you. He said, man shall not live by bread alone, brothers and sisters, but by every word that proceeds. That there is, there is what we call the, the, the spirit actually proceeds from the Father. The word to proceed. He says, uh, by the word which proceeds, that shoot forth out of the mouth of God. This is how we are going to engage you in this 40 days. We will not engage because we, we just feel like this is what I want to achieve. No. You will achieve those things, but it will be that God has been able to achieve what he really wants to achieve first. It is in God achieving what he wants that the Holy Ghost is glorified. Because the assignment of the Holy Ghost is not actually to glorify you. It's actually to glorify Jesus in you. So you are just like an interface between heaven and earth. Allowing the beauties, the possibilities of the King to find expression through your earthly vessels. 
He said, we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of power might be of God, not of ourselves. He says, man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. It's time to pray. Your prayer point tonight is very simple. I received that grace, that dimension of grace to live by every word that proceeds from. Because words have come to you over the years. Words have come to you over the month. Some of you, 10 years ago, a word came to you, wrote it out. You clamped it, you believed it, you confessed it. But you have not seen it. It doesn't matter. You still have to believe. Still have to continue. I receive that dimension of grace that helps me to stay. I stay. I will not. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. There's nowhere else to go. I stay with God. I stay. This. This is a time to strengthen your faith because the things God will be writing in these 40 days and other things that you have recorded before, they will be mind blowing. But your mind and your heart has to be in alignment with the government of heaven. So you are going to tell it, Lord, align my heart. Help me to align my heart. There has to be something that must happen to my thoughts. That I'm not using God to get my needs met. God is actually the one using me and it is a privilege to get his needs met. Because sons and those who have come to that understanding that the Father has needs and we want to use our entire life time meeting the thing that is in the heart of the father the bodies in the heart of god is the reason why we live to bring him pleasure here and everywhere yesterday today tomorrow every time in the morning and in the evening at night and at midnight where there are cameras and where there are no cameras where there are people who celebrate you and where there are people who do not celebrate you it does not matter what the matter is you choose that only the will of god is what your concern is and then you begin to live by the will of god this is how you will see the miracle of function in your life and live by the will of god when you begin to live by the will of god you will see miracles unprecedented you will not even work miracles actively miracles will happen by default you will not even cry for miracles it will happen by default you will just begin to see the goodness and the mercies of god dimensions of angelic operations following you everywhere following you everywhere surely goodness and mercy goodness and mercy follows me because I live in the will of God. Goodness and mercy follows me because my life is driven by the purposes of God. It's not about me. It's about the will of God. I live for the will of God. You can pray the Holy Ghost now. There has to be an alignment of the heart. If you will see the miracle of fine expression, if you will see his kingdom, if you will see his power. A lot of people are born again, but they have not seen the kingdom. They have not entered the kingdom. They are still playing religion and playing churchianity. They do not know that there is something about the Lord and his kingdom that when you are able to understand that it affects your earthly existence and it influences your eternal destiny. I live for the will of God. I live so that I Muna kaba la barate, pura bate la boronda skame, mana mana rata na kafunda keba. Oh, there is an alignment of the earth taking place. Some of you are repenting because you have been living for yourself. It's time to live for the will of God as we approach the consummation of all things. It's time to live for the will of the King. Aragata me borande. Every day, everywhere, I got money, I don't have money. I live for the will of God. God is happy, God is pleased that I'm existing. I'm living for His will. My soul aligns to the purpose of the one who made me in the very first place. For in the beginning, God created God. It's about God, Jesus. We agree as a ministry and as a people in Kingdom Network International that it's about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, Jesus. Can you tell him, Jesus, my life is about you. 
this is why you cannot make certain decisions until you have consulted the Lord. You cannot relegate the will and the word of God to the background because you want to achieve your personal aims. You must live to honor the word of the Lord, to allow the word of the Lord become the ultimate authority in your life. Then you will see the power, you will see the glory, and it will be obvious to men because it will be marvelous. And this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. E pala poranta kaba. Ibrunda, it's time to exercise your spirit. Pray in other tongues with fervency and concentration. Parata kabalanta upara seita mapare. My family belongs to God. As for me and my house, we serve the Lord. My seat belongs to God. We serve the Lord. We serve the will of God. We serve the purpose of God. Parataske skadabanta bale mene mene moska mena korante imatabala. Ora satanaba, ore talabaria, radam batala, reveti, sunaman, manata barati. Oh, yes, yes, you are breaking through. Preskete, preskete, rakata. Deliver me from this, this carnality. This carnality that always wants to have its way. No, this is not the order of the kingdom. This is not the manna of the kingdom. There is a manna of the kingdom. There is a way of the kingdom. There are principles of the kingdom. There is a dimension, there is a manna. There is a, there is a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle. I live that life. When you live that life, you are free from from the elements of the, the base elements of this world. You are free. You become a free man. You want the true liberty. Akata Ratataba. Oh Ratakaba Laba. Manaske. Orata. Sadabaranta Kabula. Shata Beta Bereketa Boska. Rataka Pranda Saba. Leva Baria Tana Baranka Mana. Eh, Pana Moske Mana. Living bread, living water. What can I do without you? You are my obsession, you are my only addiction, living bread, living water, what can I do without you, I've done my calculations, oh, it doesn't pay to leave you, living bread, living water, what can we You are my only addiction. You are my obsession. Oh, it's all about you, Jesus. Living prayer, living water. Where are we now without you? Living prayer, living water. What can we do without you? You are our obsession. You are only. It doesn't pay to leave you because we have now your window. Living prayer, living water. What can we do without you? Living prayer, living water. Where are we now without you? Baba la bonas. Eranta batabe.
Come on, man, I'll make you proud. I will stand before Jesus on that day. And he'll be proud of me. Say, well done, no, you did well. That will put that faith to serve. It will not be about the faith. It will not be about the power. It will not be about the miracles. It will be about you. Because when I stand before you, the power and the miracles will not be there. It will be you and you alone. It will be you and you alone. Oh, Jesus. My brothers, it will be about the will of God. Our lives are about the will of God. We were begotten by the will of God. We are begotten of the will of God. We came to do the will of God. We died doing the will of God. And we resurrect again in the will of God. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Worship him in other tongues now. Worship him in other tongues. Shabbat the Lord. Rakobaska Branta Emanos. Itala Bali Kabala Babada. Simanande Kebodosa Barante Pradi. Las Komena Bara. Urate Nababa. Emanosa Balaba. Ebarate. Kibarada Balabanos. Monto Berekete Batrasis. Kula Branta Kabale. Barata la Barianta Branta Kabanos. Oh, glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Ah, oh, ah, in Jesus' name, we are praying. You know, I, I promise you that I'm going to keep to a time so that those of you who pray personally in your houses are going to continue. I only, my assignment is to set you in motion and allow you to continue. Uh, one of the testimonies here that was sent was that uh, I would summarize it. I can't be reading it all. Uh, I was robbed and uh, they pointed gun at me and collected what I had on me. Uh, I was very careful. I got the gun. They wanted to shoot me and then they didn't shoot me. I was the only one at night in the bedroom. I was not raped. No, no raping, no killing. It was just the Lord who rescued me. So we thank God for that which He has done concerning our sister, that the Lord saved her from kidnappers and uh, He has ensured that. Uh, the word of the Lord to us this year has been kept. It's our year of Ebenezer. You know, and then we began to discuss the things that the Lord began to tell us about the year. That one of the things that will happen is there's going to be a lot of problems and attacks and challenges. But the Bible says, the Lord says it's your Ebenezer that will be protected from all harm. So we rejoice. We celebrate Jesus for that which he has done. We give him all the praise. He deserves all the praise. There are going to be a lot of testimonies. We are receiving testimonies. That we would see all kinds of miracles every day, every day, every day. It's gonna be about it's gonna be about Jesus, but there will be tokens, there will be there will be freebies. Glory to God in the highest in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. The Lord bless and strengthen you. Please do well to continue with your family and your siblings, your brothers and your sisters. Maybe it takes some more minutes to just pray the spirit, worship. And then you can have your rest. Tomorrow again, by the grace of God, we are going to continue. We are having two meetings tomorrow. We are going to have one all night. Mitchell Ariane, another one of you connect the Ghana meeting. Please do well to find a way to join the Ghana meeting and the, the other these uh, this one year of Mitchell. The Lord strengthen you and cause His face to shine upon you. May He order your steps this season. Uh, may you have encounters. May He show you His will and may you live for His will. May He strengthen your heart. To stay family with you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you. Stay here. Have a pleasant night. Rest. God bless you. Glory to God. Be baby. Be baby.